best, trust yourself, you got this. Your unofficial results are shown below, so that means if I go down. Ah! <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, so this week is a pretty big and important and scary week for me because I am taking my NCLEX again. NCLEX, for those of you that don't know, is the nursing license exam that every nursing student has to take to actually become a nurse. I'm taking it again because I failed the first time. I took a big of a toll because it's just like the exam that you need to take to show you that you're ready to become a nurse. Failing that kind of just gave me like a message that like you're not worthy of becoming a nurse. I almost like gave up on nursing because of that. I was like, oh, maybe this track isn't even right for me than if I failed the most important exam. But I'm gonna give it another shot. That's why this week is pretty vital for me. Risky too. If I fail this one, then it's like, oh my God, what am I doing, you know? So preparation is key. There's a lot that I need to do to study and prepare for this week. So before we start anything, let's get our day started. Which means honestly setting up this bed. So aggressive for no reason. Get on wet wipes, guys. It'll change your life when you wipe. <laughs> Dr. Jart Tone Up Sunscreen is one of my holy grails. I freaking love this. Not only does it have SPF, but it also does tone up. So it makes your complexion a little bit brighter. Oh man, look at that. I love, guys, I live and breathe by skincare. My favorite cereal. I know, I know, Lucky Charms is not a healthy option, but it's a big week for me, so I wanna treat myself a little bit. Coconut milk, cause I'm non-dairy. Mmm, that is so good, guys. So, the first time I took the NCLEX, the way I, I found out that I failed was, I didn't realize I put my mailing address of my parents' house instead of my own address. So they got the results before I did, right? And then one day I get a call from my dad and he's like, are you okay with your test? And I'm like, I think so. But by this time I still, I don't know if I had passed or failed. And he sends me like this giant paragraph of like saying how like, he's not disappointed in me. There's always another shot, which I'm super like surprised by because my dad is like a really traditional tiger Asian dad. And he is very much against like getting B's or like failing an exam at moat. I was so shocked when he was just being so supportive. So weird for me to see, it was so odd. But I mean, obviously I appreciate it, so. I think I failed because one, I didn't prepare hard enough and two, I'm just not a good test taker. I think preparing for that first NCLEX, I didn't really prepare as much as I needed to because I don't, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. I always, you know, heard throughout nursing school from and from the nurses I interned with, they're like, yeah, the NCLEX is hard, but just study for it and you'll be fine. So like, I literally took that to heart. I just, just study for it. Came to it when I sat down for the actual exam. I was so shocked at how hard and difficult it was. Like, I don't think I was sure of more than like 10 questions that I answered on that test. The rest were just like, oh, fuck it. Let's see if this is right. So I just did not go into that exam well. But the question is, I guess, how do I feel about the exam? for this week. I'm a little bit more confident because the amount I actually studied this time, but not only that, it's my second time now, so I kind of know what I'm expecting, but I'm getting nervous. This is a good nervous, I guess. This is helping me stay on my toes better so I don't fail again. Now that I got some food in me, let's go to a cafe and study.
came to a little cafe in Brooklyn. It's pretty small, so I really like it here. Got a hot jasmine tea. To be honest, I actually do need to be saving money because since I filled NCLEX, I've been unemployed after graduating. <laughs> so, yeah. I've been living off my savings, so I've been pretty meticulous about saving money, but also pretty bad because it is the city, like, spending money is so easy here. But sometimes I'm like, maybe it was ex it's not much of a shock that I failed because even throughout all of nursing school, like, like the fundamentals and application style based questions, it was just really hard for me to get used to and excel at it. It kind of sucks because like everyone else around me seemed like they're doing fine, like they're getting A's and B's and meanwhile like here I am studying like almost 10 hours a day all more and getting like C's. It definitely made me feel stupid I think. Like multiple times throughout the program I got close to like an academic probation just because my grades were doing so bad. It was a very anxiety stricken time of my life. Um, I busted my ass though, like I tried, like I went through, I did everything. It's just for some reason my head was just not accepting the content and spitting it out like I needed to. And kind of doesn't help that I just failed exams so it makes me feel more stupid. It's like damn I guess I really wasn't worthy of becoming a nurse. But I can't think that way because I did get into my dream school, Columbia, you know. It was always my dream to go to a school in the city, so I got in, which is a statement in and of itself. So I am worthy of being. So there's a lot on the line for me to prove to myself, but also my parents. We're not gonna mope, we're not gonna complain. I'm gonna buckle down and prepare. Yeah, let's do this. So pretty much to study for the NCLEX, I always use this resource called UWorld, where it's just like an online resource of test bank questions you could practice with. And like whenever you get like a question wrong, they tell you like rationales and explanations on why you got it wrong. I really recommend it for you guys if you were studying for the NCLEX. Just finished the practice exam and I feel like I got so good at taking this exam. Like I was kind of doing like nonchalantly and I scored the highest I've ever gotten, such as an 80%. So in a way that does give me like confidence knowing that my other past results have been in the like, 70 averages, which is exactly where I want to be at. Like they say on U World, if you score around 72 to 73 percent, you have a high likelihood of passing. And I've been hitting all those marks, so there's a reason to be confident. Honestly, I guess I have nothing to worry about. It's just my, it's just my nerves I need to control. I feel good. I feel good now. Remember how like an hour ago I said I was trying to save money? <laughs> I'm literally so like impulsive. I went and bought a shirt. <laughs> Guys, this is my problem. Like I'm too impulsive and I don't think about the future. I just think about what makes me happy now and I do it. <laughs> <sighs> Alright guys, I got hungry so I came to Whole Foods to get like a slice of vegan pizza real quick. Not sure how good it will be, but I was just so hungry right now, so. Well, I'm not gonna lie, Whole Foods be, Whole Foods be having it. The only downside is this one slice was like $6. <laughs> There goes my money saving. But as you may have guessed, I absolutely love skincare. Um, it's because I grew up with really simple, like bad acne that traumatized the fuck out of me. It really affected like how I viewed myself and like my social interactions and. Now that my, most of my acne is gone though, I still carry the like same burden of the skin trauma these days. And that will never go away, I feel like. That's why I'm like super hyper conscious about my skincare. It got to the point where now I'm obsessed with it. And like it's a hobby for me now at this point. So yeah, that's partially why I wanted to get into as a nurse practitioner to help kind of I guess to help people who also struggle with the same acne that I did with rosacea, redness, pigmentation, dimples, and all that above. Kind of show them that there is, it will get better. With the right kind of help and the right kind of provision, it, it will go away. Like mine. 
So, but that's like far away. Um, I still have to pass the end collect so you can start anywhere. Yeah. We're in Queens right now, like where all the Korean food are. So yes, we're getting Korean food. The fact that today is such a good weather day, today is a good day because I'm actually going to go see a dermatology nurse practitioner in Midtown. I kind of just reached out to her to get some like tips and advice on how, like I guess the day in the life works for someone who's in that field. And hopefully it might give me some motivation also, like confidence just talking to her that this is what's at the end of the road for me. So hopefully it'll be a good talk. I could tell my social anxiety is kicking in because <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Uh, meeting new people, it's always hard for me. This is one thing I have to get better at, so we're gonna face our fears today. Sarah, do you have any, like, I guess, like, tips or advice for me taking the NCLEX? For taking the NCLEX? Yeah. Do your best, trust yourself, got this. Thank you. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just got out from talking to Sarah. Now that I've talked to her, it's like so much, like, hot. my nerves are gone. <laughs> I don't know why I like this guy. Just, I get nervous easily. But uh, yeah, it was, talking to her was probably one of the most like insightful and like informative conversations I've had in a while. Especially because she's doing the exact thing that I want. So I had so many questions. I asked her things like, oh, what would you have done different right after you graduated from nursing school? Or like, like what are the hardships of starting your own like cosmetic dermatology practices? And how hard was it during MP school? And things like that. So it was a really good session. Um, and I think overall after talking to her, I know even for certain that I want, this is the exact thing that I want to be doing. It's just a matter of me like passing this NCLEX, like finally, and I'm going to start working as soon as possible. Like, it's just so different, like the air is different when I know what I want, you know? It's just, time is the only thing that's holding me back. I'm going to, I'm going to take myself out tonight. I feel like calm my nerves, calm my anxiety to prepare for myself tomorrow. You know what that means. Self-care night. <laughs> We came to like a little puppy store in Chelsea just to like chill out, wind down a little. And this was Aussie. This one is so cute. I'm normally a cat guy, but like honestly, this one is really cute. She gave up. <laughs> no, she didn't. Push her away again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, now that I received all my Fabletic scrubs, we're gonna compare them to my old scrubs I used to wear. Right off the bat, you can clearly tell my generic scrubs are on the left and the Fabletic scrubs are on the right. The Fabletic scrubs seem to have a better fitted range of motion as well as comfortably hugs my body. But as for the generic ones, it seems to be way too loose and I just have way too much space. As for the scrub bottoms, it's crucial that I feel comfortable. So on the right with Fabletics, there was a four-way stretch as well as a performance grade fabric that supplemented it. However, on the left, it wasn't so much that it was stretched, but more it was just loose and really baggy on me. And not only that, the Fabletics scrubs are anti-fade, anti-shrink, anti-microbial, odor control, and wrinkle resist. Something the left does not have anything of. <laughs> So ditch those old baggy scrubs and shop Fabletics in the link in my bio. And I guarantee you'll change the way you see scrubs forever. <sighs> Alright guys, tomorrow is D-Day. Can't tell if I'm like confident or like anxious or like 
scared or I'm gonna pass it or fail it all. The amount I prepared for, it made me build like this big anticipation for the final the final thing and now it's all the pressure has built up. So I don't wanna crumble underneath it, but the bird is pretty big right now. Anyways, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna set like 50 alarms to make sure I wake up because the last thing I wanna do is fail it because I missed it, which is pray for me, hope for me, and let's do this tomorrow. Good morning guys, today is the big day. Am I nervous? I'm like so, so confident that it's scaring me. Like to the point where like, it should I be this confident? <laughs> like it's too good to be true. <laughs> so uh, maybe I should like calm down a little, you know, take a little bit more cautiously. All right, so this is the outfit for today. We got brown leather jacket, black scoop neck shirt, blue baggy jeans. Honestly, I just want to feel good for today. Like, I want everything to go well. I want everything to be positive. I want every sign under the sun today to let me know I will do good. That's why I'm dressing up. Of course, my favorite cologne. It's Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's like so, so sweet, but it's like not like fem. It's like more masculine sweet in a way. It's very subtle masculine sweet. We're gonna pass the test. We're gonna pass the exam. We're gonna pass the test. just arrived to the testing center. I'm in the front lobby, I can't film after this, so I'm gonna take my time to kind of just like meditate, kind of just calm down and stop for a second, cause yeah, a lot of thoughts are running through my head, lots of emotions, but this lobby is not unfamiliar to me. <laughs> Quietly think and prepare, mentally get myself So I sat down and I was like, wait, this is kind of hard. And I remember like my first time, flashbacks of my first time and I was like, damn. So I feel definitely a lot better than the first time I took it. I was way more confident and my test stamina was way longer. I didn't even have to take like a 15 minute break like I did the first time. So the only thing now I'm just worried about is getting the results back. A little bit of anxiety on my end, but the biggest part is over. Like I took the exam. There's nothing I can do now, just wait. Fingers crossed, guys. I just want to stop thinking about this test, honestly. <laughs> All right, so it's been about two business days since I took the exam. And apparently there's a thing called quick results where you could just pay $8 and find out whether you passed or not. Yeah, we're gonna find out if I passed. Wait, I'm so fucking nervous right now. All right, I have to pay $7. Oh, I was about to say 7.9, <laughs> no, bro. All right, dude, you gotta uh -oh. pay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> ah! No, dude, you gotta- Your unofficial results are shown below, so that means if I go down, Where's my... Pass? Oh, it passed! <laughs> no! It passed! It passed. We, didn't even, what? we didn't even see that. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. That passed, passed, right? That's passed? Pass. No! I fucking did it! I fucking did it! Dude, I was so scared to take a third time! Wait, no way! Wait, is this real? Yes, yeah, this is real. Would it have said fail if I failed? Wait, bro, I'm dead. It was oh shit. my god! <laughs> wait, I can make money! Finally, I won't be unemployed! Holy shit, wait, who, like, who do I call? Do I call the hospital? They could have bolted it or something. I can finally open my med spa up now. Could pass this up. Yeah. Yeah, pass. Yeah, pass this up. Yeah, yes sir. Why are you crying? What the? <laughs> It's up. No, but you could hit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hello? Babe, I yeah. opened the, the quick result. And then? It failed. No way. Yeah, I told you. Are you joking? Yes. You are joking? Oh, I mean, what? I said, are you joking? No. No way. Yes, it is no way. You're lying. Yes. You passed. What? No! Hey. <laughs> I fucking passed! Congratulations, Bobby. Hello? Yo, you motherfucking bitch. Guess who fucking what? passed? You passed! Yes, bitch! You passed, you motherfucking bitch? What the fuck? Dude, you 
record this too right I now. did. I'm literally recording us talking right now. Oh shit. Okay, bro. Congrats. I knew you could do it after the third time. Guys, like, honestly, I was like. Like going through academic probation and then failing the first time, like I'm not gonna lie, I felt so freaking stupid. Like, like I wondered if I even like had the capabilities of becoming a nurse. But crazy now that I opened up the results and it says that I passed. P A S S, pa ass. Like it's I didn't give up. That was the biggest thing. I could have gave up after the first fail and be like, yo, I'm not worthy of being a nurse. But like the fact that I kept going, and, like I I got into Columbia, my dream school. I moved to New York City, like. I still, I accomplished all these things and like, I'm so confused how I let myself get so down to the point that I couldn't do the second time. But here I am, like, I did it, I did it with you guys, like, I, I did it with my mom, I did it with my friend No, I did it with my friend John, I did it, like, like I'm, I just did it, it's crazy, oh my god. Just goes to show that failure is so normal, like, do not let that hold you back. Like, you're gonna, failure is all part of the process. Obviously, it's not, it's not gonna feel good, like, obviously we don't want that, but it's all part of the process, and just one thing to remember is just keep going. Don't let it stop you, keep pushing. That's what I did, and I finally became a nurse, and I can finally open up my med spa. Yes! Yeah, okay. the $140,000 in debt is all worth it. Oh, fuck! I fucking remembered! Yeah, by the way, I have $146,000 in debt right now, but but, um, I'm paying it off for the next 20 years, so hopefully that'll go away. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's time to celebrate, I guess.